According to Baymart Institute, about 70% of the people who visit the checkout page on your online store don't actually end up completing their purchase. This means that if you run an e-commerce store, for every 100 people that consider your product, only about 30 people will end up purchasing them. So even if they like your product and end up adding it to their cart, for some reason, they're not pulling the trigger. Now imagine if you could make a few simple tweaks and change that 30% into 50% or more. How would that impact your business? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. And the best part is everything I'll mention in this video is free to implement. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, here we are on my computer and on my screen right now, you'll see the website I'll be using for the demonstration in this video. As you can see, this is an e-commerce website for a plant shop. And all I've done here is install the Astra theme along with one of their starter templates. And in case you're wondering what a starter template is, it's a professionally designed, fully functional website template that you can load up in just a few minutes. And what's really cool is with the starter template, it's already loaded up WooCommerce for me, along with some sample products you see here as well. And I've already added a product to my cart. As you can see on the top right, we've got this plant in my cart. So we can go and take a look at what our checkout page looks like. And here we are. This is the checkout page right now. And it might look a little bit familiar to you because this is the default WooCommerce checkout page that comes with the plugin when you install it. And although it looks decent, it might not be the most optimized to make conversions for you and reduce cart abandonment. So what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is how you can turn a checkout page that looks like this into one that looks like this. This checkout page is a lot more optimized to help you make conversions and reduce your cart abandonment rate. And in this video, I'll explain all the tweaks that I've made and how they'll help you. And I'll also show you how you can make these tweaks yourself onto your own checkout page. And I also want to reiterate that all the features I'll be mentioning in this video are all free so you can implement them without having to spend any money as well. So step number one, we're going to replace the default WooCommerce checkout page with the one you see right here. And to do that, we'll be installing a free plugin called CartFlows. So first, let's go into our WordPress dashboard right here. And we're going to go and install the CartFlows plugin if you haven't done so already. I've already got it right here, but let me show you how you can get it yourself. So go into plugins, add new. And over here on the right hand side, we can search for the CartFlows plugin just like that. And the one we're looking for is this one right here, Funnel Builder by CartFlows. Once you see that, you can go ahead and install it by clicking on the button here and also activate it as well. Like I've said, I've already installed and activated ahead of time. So once it's installed, you'll see a CartFlows button on the left hand side of your WordPress dashboard. Once here, we can click on this and go into home. And this is what the CartFlows dashboard looks like within the menu. And next, all we have to do is go into flows at the top here. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of different flows here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and add a new one. And here you can see a bunch of different flow templates. And these are essentially a library of different templates that you can load up, which features a landing page, a checkout page, and even a thank you page as well. You can look through and find one that you think fits your website the most. For this tutorial, let's just go ahead and select this one here, evergreen product number two. And once you click on that, you can see a larger view of what that page will look like. You've got your landing page, a beautiful checkout page that looks really similar to the one we created. And we also have a thank you page right here for when you complete your purchase. So if you're happy with that, we can go and press the import flow button at the top right here, and we can give our flow a name right here as well. I'm just going to call it hist flow like that. And I'm going to press import flow right here. And there we go. We have our different pages imported now that are all templates. And because we already have a beautiful home page, we don't need this landing page right here. And I'm not sure why my mouse is turning black. Hope you guys can still see it. We're going to go and click the three dots right here and press delete. And there we go. And now we have our checkout page you see right here. And what we can do now is go and press edit. And because our website is built with Elementor, it gives us options to build our checkout page with Elementor as well. So once you're here, we can go and press edit with Elementor. And here we are. This is what our checkout page looks like within Elementor. But as you can see right here, no product is selected. So it's not really showing our checkout page. Let's fix that. So I'm going to right click right here, go to edit checkout forms. So what I'm going to do is go back into cart flows right here on our cart flows menu. We're going to go back into flows. We're going to click on test flow. And we're also going to go into settings right here and where it says sandbox, we're going to enable test mode. So we'll have this test mode enabled when we're testing out and designing our new checkout page. And what that will do for us is add a random product into our flow when we're testing out a product. So we don't have to manually go and add a new product into our cart when we're testing out the checkout page. So let's go and enable that right now. And we're going to press save settings. So if I go back into Elementor right here and press refresh, our checkout is now fully visible and you can see it's now added a random product into our cart as well. And just by installing CartFlows, you can see that our UI has now improved drastically and it's been upgraded to this new beautiful look you see here. And one of the most important things for conversion from a checkout is having a really good UI in UX. 
the more simple, the minimal your checkout page is, the more likely the customer will complete the checkout because there's less friction points on the page. As you can see, the form is a lot smaller right here, but we can make a bunch of different tweaks right here to make it even more optimized for conversion. But what I'm really liking is this modern design. It looks really clean and minimal. And I also really like this order summary box right here because as you scroll down, it follows with you, showing exactly what you have in your cart as well as the total right here. So overall, I think this is an upgrade on the existing default WooCommerce checkout. This one looks really good and I think already it's a little bit more optimized. Next, I'm gonna show you how we can customize the rest of this page to also add some elements that will help increase your conversions. To start off with, if you wanna adjust any of the content on this page, you can always right click and adjust it just like you would normally in Elementor. So if I right click here, go to edit section, we can modify that banner color right there. I'm going to change that to something that suits the rest of the page. So I can open up the color palette and I'm going to select the same kind of gray. It's a little bit darker there. Let's go with this one. I think that looks all right. And we're going to also modify the ticks. So I'm going to click on that, go to style and change that to this dark gray. We're actually going to go with this dark one here. The same with this text. We're just going to change the color so that text is all visible. And we can also replace this logo with one from your actual website. Let's go ahead and adjust that. We can choose our image here. There we go. I just added the logo for this website and that already looks a lot better. And another thing that's really underrated is having guarantees like this on your checkout page. So when someone's deciding whether to complete a checkout on your page, they want to know that the transaction they make on your website is safe and secure. So having something like this on your checkout page will help them get more trust and security, allowing them to complete that purchase as well. So that's another thing we can have right here. And along at the bottom, I just want to mention you can do the same thing right here. We have a guarantee, 30 day guarantee, 100% money back, no risk. Something like that will also add to the security when they're completing the purchase, because if they don't like the product, they can always return the money back 100%, no risk, as it says right here. And what we can also do here, let me just delete this section here. I mean, because we're using Elementor, we can, of course, drag and drop other elements onto this page. So let me just go ahead and add a testimonial right here like that. And we're going to align it to the left. And let me quickly change the photo of the person as well, just to show you what we can do. We can add this person here. We can leave a little review right here of our website or store from an actual customer. So when someone's trying to complete their transaction on your website, right before they press the button here, they can also see this review down here, giving them some more assurance and confidence that whatever product you're selling is of value to someone else too. So these are all really important things to add, a bit of security, a guarantee, and some reviews onto your checkout page, just to give your customer a bit more assurance and confidence they can proceed with the checkout with no problems. And these are all really easy elements to implement onto your checkout page, and they will help you increase your checkout conversions and reduce your cart abandonment rate. And now that we've added some guarantees and made our checkout page look a little bit more trustworthy, we can also modify this checkout field we see right here. So if I right click on that and go to edit checkout form, we have an option to choose different layouts for a checkout. So currently it's the modern checkout. We can also go ahead and choose the modern one column. As you can see now it's one column and our order summary box is now at the bottom here, right above the payment methods. But I quite like the modern checkout one we see here. We also have some one column and two column layouts we see here as well. But I really like the modern checkout that we had earlier, this one right here. Let's proceed with that one. And if you want to modify the style of the modern checkout, you have that option as well. You can go into style right here. You can change the primary color. Currently it's red. You can change that to something that suits the green a little bit more. You can add a green right there. And when, how that will show up is when you click on any of these fields, you can see there's a green outline around each box. And that's where that color shows up. You can adjust the text color, the typography, headings, the input fields right here. It's currently set to default. We can go and change that to modern labels. And you can see right there instantly, it changed to a smaller form because we selected the modern labels. And here you can see the label titles within each respective box rather than sitting on top of it like with the default one right here. I'm actually gonna go with the modern labels because it makes it look simpler and neater. And I think that looks quite good right now. Once again, you have a bunch of different options to modify that. You can modify the buttons, the payment section, and so much more, but I'm happy with that. You can explore them as you wish. We're gonna proceed on to the next step. So make sure you save your checkout page with an Elementor before closing this. All right, back within our WordPress dashboard in the cart flows menu, we're gonna be working on this one that says global checkout right here. This is the one that I showed you at the start of the video. We have a test one right here, but that was just to show you what we can do when we create a brand new flow with cart flows. And we're gonna go and look through all the different settings within the one I created. And the one I'm working with here is a store checkout clone, the one I made right here. 
And this might look familiar to you. This is the same button we press to edit that page with Elementor earlier. And what I'm going to show you now is how we can modify all the different fields we have on our checkout page. So back within cart flows, within the menu, we can go into form fields right here. And currently you can see all the settings that I've got enabled. So we've enabled the coupon field. We made it a collapsible coupon field as well. You can do that if you'd like. Let me just show you what that looks like right here. So we have all these different fields enabled. We have the coupon field right here and it's collapsed. So when we click on this right here, that will pop up with the coupon code box. So it's really cool to keep it hidden. And this is another thing that I really want to mention because if you have your coupon code box right at the top of the page, like the default WooCommerce one did, that can actually end up being a distraction to the customer. So if someone tries to come to your checkout page, they might see that you have coupons available and they might click away from your checkout page before completing their checkout to go look for a coupon code. It's really important to eliminate any points of distraction or friction on your checkout page to make sure they go and complete that checkout as quickly and easily as possible. So having the coupon code down here just makes it less of a distraction. They can still click on it and type in their coupon code if they wish to. Back here, once again, I've actually disabled the additional field. This is where you can write additional instructions for your order. I just felt like it was taking too much space and wanted to keep our checkout minimal once again. So I just ended up disabling that here. And I've also enabled the shift to different addresses and left that on as well. And if you want to modify the fields, you have to enable this option right here, enable custom field editor. And once you enter cart flows, it might actually look like this. But once you enable this, you have complete freedom to modify exactly what fields you decide to show on your checkout page. So you can adjust anything from the name to zip code, phone number, everything right here. For example, if you want to disable the company name, you can do that by clicking on the eyeball right here, and that will not show up on your checkout page. It's totally up to you what you want to display. And again, I'd recommend keeping it completely minimal and only keeping the fields that your customer needs to input the exact information required. And again, I'd recommend keeping this really minimal. Only keep the necessary fields that your customer might need to complete their checkout. And once you're happy with that, you can press save settings here. And as you can see on our website, our fields right here look very small and very minimal. Our checkout page is actually quite small compared to the original one we saw before, which was really long. And this one seems less intimidating and feels a lot quicker for the customer to fill out as well. And while we're on here, I just want to show you another really cool feature with cart flows as well. Usually with the default WooCommerce checkout page, right at the top, you'll have a login button asking you to log in. Likewise, we have a similar one right here, but on the default one, you have to click to expand that option. You have to type in your email address and password. And once you've logged in, you also have to go and type in your email address once again in your billing details as well. But with the CartFlow's modern checkout, you'll only have to type in your email address once. Let me show you what happens. For example, let's go ahead and type in an email address that doesn't exist. And it tells you right there with real-time email validation that the email address is not a valid email. But next, if I go and type in a real email address, you can see that the red text is now gone and it's actually validating that this email address exists. And what's really cool is because we're not registered, it automatically popped up with this password field right here. So we can type in a password and create our account really easily. So again, this removes the whole friction point of creating an account. It's very seamless, very easy. You can do it straight right here in the checkout page. The next example I want to show you is that if an account is already registered like that, so this is the account I've already got registered on this website, you can see that the email address is already registered. Please enter the password to continue. So you can type in your password right here and simply log in and continue with your checkout without having to leave the checkout as well. So this is a really cool feature to have on your checkout page. It makes it really simple and easy for your customer and hopefully helps them stay on that checkout page and complete their transaction. And scrolling down next, I'm going to show you how we can change this button right here. So with the default WooCommerce checkout page, you only have a simple button that says place order, but with CartFlow's modern checkout, you have some additional features as well. You have a padlock icon right here. You also have the total for the order right here, all within that place order button. I'm going to show you how to modify this button so you can choose to enable or disable these features and also change the text you see right here. So let's go back onto our WordPress dashboard and within our flow settings right here, we can go and click settings right at the top. And within our checkout page menu, we're going to go click on the settings tab right here. And we're going to go into checkout settings. And this is where you can choose to enable the lock icon we saw earlier and also enable the price display. We can also disable them really easily if we want to just by clicking on these checkboxes here. And this field right here is where we can modify the text we saw earlier. Currently it says place order. You can change that to whatever you like. The choice is completely yours. I'm going to keep them as is, but if you make any changes, just remember to press the save settings button right here. And that's all the tweaking you have to do within CartFlows itself to create the checkout page we saw earlier but you have a bunch of different features still in cart flows that I won't be touching upon in this video, like dynamic offers, order bumps, and so much more. So if you want to learn more about cart flows, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below.
The next thing I'm going to do is show you how we can add this beautiful express checkout button onto your checkout page. And I really recommend you have an express checkout on your e-commerce website, because again, it's a really simple and easy method for your customer to complete their payment with. All they'd have to do is press this button right here, log into their account, and they can just press one button and complete that purchase. So let me show you how we can add that. Again, let's go back into our WordPress dashboard. And this will require another plugin as well. I've already got it installed ahead of time, but let's go into plugins right here and I'll show you how we can add that. Go into add new, and we're gonna search for checkout plugins. The one you're looking for is this one right here, checkout plugins, Stripe for WooCommerce. So you can go ahead and install and activate that. And once it's installed, you should see it right here, checkout plugins, Stripe for WooCommerce, and we can go and press settings right here. And when you first install it, you will have to set up your Stripe account if you haven't done so already. You can do that. And once that's all done, right at the top here, we see a bunch of different tabs. And the one we wanna press is Express Checkout. And this is the settings for the Express Checkout page. And we see a little preview right here as well. And that shows the exact same Express Checkout button in black that we saw on our checkout page. Over here, we have a checkbox to enable Express Checkout. As you can see, it's currently enabled. We can choose to show where we display our Express Checkout button. We have the product page, the cart page, the checkout page as well. We can adjust the text on the button. So if I modify this, you can see that it shows up right here in the preview and that will be how our button looks on our checkout page. I'm just gonna remove that once again. And it gives us options to choose the button theme, whether it be a dark theme or a light theme like that. I think that looks really good, but the dark one contrasts really nicely on the page. It makes it really obvious and eye-catching if that's what you want. I'm gonna leave it as a dark theme. You can also modify the position of the button on your product page right here, below add to cart, above the add to cart, etc. You can adjust the separated text. That's gonna be the text that's gonna suggest your express checkout or the default option just below it. You can add an express checkout on your cart page as well. And lastly, we have our checkout page options down here. You can choose a classic or custom layout. You can adjust the button position. Currently, we've got it above the checkout form. We can put it above the billing details as well. So it sits right in the middle of the checkout page. And we can change the title and tagline. So that's the text we see here, title and tagline. You can change that to anything you'd like. And we can also adjust the separated text we see here as well. And once you're happy with all of that, you can go and press save changes. And once that's done, you should see the express checkout button on your checkout page. It's important to mention that if you're using Google Chrome, it will show up with Google Pay right here. But if you're using Safari, it will show up with Apple Pay instead. Awesome, that's all we have to do with our checkout page right here. But there's one more bonus step that I wanna show you that will really help you convert your abandoned carts and make them into successful sales. So let's go back into our WordPress dashboard once again, right here, and we're gonna go ahead and install another plugin. So let's go into plugins right here and press add new. And we're gonna search for cart abandonment. And the one we're looking for is right here, WooCommerce cart abandonment and recovery. We can go ahead and install and activate that as well. But I've already gone ahead and installed it ahead of time. So we can go into WooCommerce right here and you should see the settings for it right here, cart abandonment. If we click on that, you should see the dashboard for the plugin right here. And right here, you can see a bunch of different statistics for your cart abandonment. For example, you have recoverable orders, recovered orders, lost orders, recovery rate, recovered revenue, and recoverable revenue. As you can see, we have five total recoverable orders and a recoverable revenue of $227. So it's really cool to see that right here at a glance. But to explain what's really cool about this plugin, we have to go into this tab right here called follow-up emails. So how this plugin works is when someone enters their email address at checkout and chooses to abandon their cart, this will go ahead and send them a bunch of follow-up emails to remind them that they have an incomplete purchase. As you can see, we have one email going out 30 minutes after cart abandonment, reminding them about what they left behind. Of course, you can modify the subject and content of that email. And next one day after that, we have another email going out. And finally, on the third day, we have an exclusive offer included with the email so that they're more likely to come back and complete that purchase. This can be a huge game changer because it will help you convert those abandoned carts into completed sales. So I really recommend you have this if you have a WooCommerce website. So if you have an e-commerce website, I highly recommend you have this plugin set up with these follow-up emails as well. And over on the settings tab here, you can choose to enable the tracking right here. You can also specify what the cutoff time is for the cart abandonment right here. But currently it's set to 15 minutes. You can modify that as you wish. And this plugin has a bunch of different options to modify the features even further. But if you wanna learn more about it, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. And there you have it. All these tweaks I've shown you in this video will help you increase the conversions on your checkout page and reduce your cart abandonment. If you had any questions about anything I've shown you in this video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. If you got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here, and don't forget to check out even more of our WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.